Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hope everybody's doing doing well. I uh, just had this thought that I wanted to share with you. I was um, I was going through some email today, and uh, a dear heart was was reaching out to me, and she was asking me. Um, my opinion on certain things relative to her, to a relationship that she's involved in. And um, it boiled down to uh, she's kind of tampering with this relationship based on things that are being said, you know, impressions that are being made, guys saying all of the right stuff, seems to be doing all of the right things. Um, but she, she has this strange feeling about him. And, um, as we went a little deeper, I, I discovered, I learned that she has negative history with him. And now he's somewhat, he's resurfaced in her life and he's doing all of the right stuff, but there's this feeling she gets when she's around him. And I, in no uncertain terms, told her, you know, you can never ignore the energy of a person, not just a man, but, you know, even a man with a woman. If a woman has bad energy, it doesn't matter what all of the other stuff looks like. Um, if the energy is bad, if in other words, if the feeling you get when you're around this person is not positive, um, is not healthy, that's something you need to walk away from, quite honestly. Because, you know, when I look back over my life, energy has never lied to me. Energy has never lied to me. Looks have lied. Circumstances have lied. Impressions have lied, but energy has never lied to me. You know, now in the church, we bring it a step further. We talk about discernment. And, you know, that's where the Holy Spirit gives you a, sin, a sense of the, the essence of this individual, if that person is good or bad, you know, right or wrong for you. You discern it. Well, all of us are, you know, as, as the creations of God, as the, the, the crown of God's creation being human beings, all of us at least have the ability, we have um, the ability to um, pick up on, to sense the essence of an individual. We have, um, I'm trying to find the word, but you know what I'm saying. And you can't ignore that. You know, there's something you know about a person that is that goes deeper than the eye. There's something you know about a person that's deeper than what you can hear or see. It's deeper than what they, they may say. It's deeper than what they do. They may do all of the right stuff, but then you still have that nagging sensation. Well, what is that nagging sensation? That's really God trying to direct you away from a problem. That's really God trying to direct you away from a problem. Now, you all know my, my testimony and my history um, of womanizing, but even when I was out there womanizing, Kizzy, I think that's the young lady, Kizzy Rock. If you, if you go to my comments, um, I mean my community rather, go to my community. I posted a video of a young lady who has amazing content. I want you all to go check her out. She's amazing. But when I was womanizing, I could sense if a person, you know, was all, all together there or not. I knew exactly, you know, where to go, where not to go. All of us have that. Now, the problem is that most of us don't pay attention to it. 
All of the other things that we give our full attention to can lie to us. A person can create an, uh, an image around themselves that, make, that will make them look like they have more money than they do. They can borrow somebody's car, they can wear somebody else's clothes, grab somebody else's bag. They can, they can act, you know, their behavior. Sometimes a person can act good enough getting warm here. A person can act good enough, long enough to hook you and to make you feel like they are the one. And then once you are hooked, you know, the real, the mask comes off. But there's something about that energy that even the best of them, they cannot cover up that energy. And if, you know, if I can get you to stop looking at the surface, if I can get you to go deeper than the superficial, and if I can get you to really begin to pay attention to what you feel in your heart and, and really acknowledge the energy that you feel, I know that you want this to work. You know what I mean? I know that on paper, this person is perfect. But the energy that you're getting from this person says, run, you know, something, something's not right, something's dangerous. And see, this is, this is extremely important for, well, it's, it's important for everybody. It's even important for men to pay attention to the energy of women. But I think it's even more important for a woman to pay attention to the energy of a man she might deal with. Because, you know, just naturally so, men are a greater threat to a woman's life than a woman is to a man's life. And there's nothing worse than being a woman who gets swept off of your feet with all of this superficial stuff and knowing in your heart that the energy you're feeling from this person says this person is not safe this person is not good. And you ignore that, and then you get in the middle of a situation that it's gonna take an army of other people to pull you out of. And then you, you know, once you're in the process of trying to get out of it, you say, something told me. Well, it wasn't something, it was someone, and that someone was God. And I think some of you are there now, where you're ignoring the energy. And sometimes a person, a toxic person, speeds the, the, the process up. They speed, they'll speed the relationship up. You know, they'll just speed it up. They'll, they'll make things go faster than they should go to get you to ignore the energy and to kind of get swept away in the pace of, of the, the relationship. But you see, the energy of a person is their essence. I heard... Um, yeah, what's her name? She's on here on YouTube. I think, I, I know her last name is Pope. I think, I don't know what the first name is, but her last name is Pope. And she said something powerful today from a spiritual perspective, which, which you know, I listened to it and I said, wow, that's good. She said, um, Rebecca, I think that's it, Rebecca. She said, you should turn a person's, you know, mute their voice and just look, just look at their countenance, you know, and there's something about a person's countenance that never lies. If you look at a person's countenance and you, you get, you get a feeling of something evil, it's not a lie. You, you, you know, doesn't mean you have to judge that, doesn't mean that you have to bash that person, but it does mean you now know that this person is not is not the one for you. Even in terms of people you listen to on social media, you have to begin to discern. She said, shut their voice off and just look at their countenance. And, you know, when you look at a person's countenance without being influenced by their voice or their words, there's something about their countenance that carries their essence. You see, you can, look, you can look in a man's eyes. You can look upon a man's face. 
Now, here's the sad thing. Here's the sad thing that I think we're going to deal with tonight, actually, at 8 o'clock. I'm talking about the homosexual, <laughs> and it's going to be deep. But I think in there, I think I'm talking about how modern women have been conditioned to be attracted to dangerous men. And what you call swag, what you call attraction is really, um, it's really female slave conditioning that has brought you to a place that you take you know, you're taking a tiger in as a house cat. You're calling it, you're calling it attraction. You're calling it swag when the reality, when the real name of it, when the real, when the real wording for it or definition of it is danger. You've been, you've been conditioned to be attracted to danger, dangerous men. And so you kind of turn the voice of the Holy Spirit down. You kind of mute your intelligence and you just run with your emotions and the whole while your spirit is saying, time out, this ain't good, it's not good. You have to pay attention to the energy of a person. You have to pay attention to the energy of a person. There's some of you that are watching right now who can testify you are presently in a situation that you wish you had never gotten caught up in, but you got caught up in the what? The sex appeal. You got caught up in what looked like the money only to discover that the sex really ain't all that and the money ain't really there. And now you have a situation on your hands that you don't even know how to get rid of because you didn't pay attention to the energy. You see, you're going to need, it, it's, it's cute to have, it's cute to have a man that's cute. You know, I suppose it is for a woman. It's nice to have a man that you think he's cute. But it's even better to have a man that's safe and a man that's nurturing and a man that's good for your spirit. You got to pay attention to the energy of a situation. Too many women are getting caught up in situations. And then what, ha what happens? They bait you in. They bait you in with all of this superficial stuff. And you can, you can hear the Holy Spirit saying to you, not this one, don't bother this one. This one is not good. This one is dangerous. You can hear the Holy Spirit saying it. And then the Holy Spirit loves you so much, the Holy Spirit will send your mama to tell you. The Holy Spirit will send your daddy to tell you, your sisters and your brothers to tell you, your best friends to tell you. The Holy Spirit will send your pastor to tell you. Then the Holy Spirit will even have a man you don't know come on YouTube to tell you. You don't need to deal with this. You, you, your spirit is saying this is not the one. It's because it's easy to get into this stuff. It's easy to get, get caught up in this stuff, but it's hell getting out of it. Because these people get into your life and they tie your life up, you know, from they tie your life up financially. They tie you up emotionally. They create soul ties with you. You have to learn to pay attention to the energy. I've gotten to a point in my life now that I just don't deal with people whose energy does not agree with me. If, if your energy doesn't agree with me, I'm not going to bash you. I'm not going to talk about you to anybody else. I don't talk about people. I don't, you know, I'm not going to share what I'm feeling or thinking with, with Lisa or anybody. I'm, I'm not going to do that. If, you know, if they're good with you and they find some, that's fine. But as for me, I'm not going to give my time, open my life to people whose energy does not agree with me. Now, you know, how much more would that apply? See, if I were, I've been, Lisa and I have been married 25 years. We've been together over 30 so it's been a long time since I've had to, to worry about dating. All that stuff has changed. But if I were suddenly put in a position where I had, where I had to date again, I, honestly now, I mean, y'all may say, well, you know, you, you, you 56 years old, you know. But honestly, I think I would be checking for the energy before I, was, before I would be checking for the, the hips, the tips, and the lips.
I'd really be checking for the energy. How does this person make me feel before they say a word? You know, I'll give you an example. Um, the other day I was some weeks ago, I was with my brother and a lady, you know, was at a stop sign and a lady just picked her kids up and she ran to the back of my brother's car and, you know, jerked us and everything. And he got out of the car and he got out smiling and he got out with a real pleasant, calm spirit. Of course, she's nervous. This big black dude getting out the car, you know, she's a, looked like a little Hispanic lady. She may have been black, but she looked Hispanic. And um, my brother was like, oh, you know, we good. Had, she did a little something to his bumper, but he, he wasn't concerned with that. And she said, man, your, your, your energy just calmed me down. I was so nervous. And she said, your energy just calmed me down. <clears throat> well, I choose to have people in my life that do that for me all the time. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want people in my life. I, don't, I do not want you on my phone. Don't want you calling me. If your energy does not lift me, life is hard enough. Life is hard enough to invite people in your life that drain you. You got to have... You got to have the right energy. Now, this doesn't only apply to men or to women or romantic relationships. This applies to friendships. Some of you all are entertaining friends. You're entertaining friends, so-called friends whose energy is bad. Every time they come around you, you get stressed out. Every time they come around you, you know, um, Lisa and I were watching this this movie, um, some movie the other night, and, and the girl's friends were coming to our house and had her going through her husband's stuff. Well, it ended up he he was <laughs> he wasn't no good. <laughs> but before they before she had any even had any inkling or reason to be concerned about the man, her friends were coming around bringing that energy. You gotta have the right energy, and when you start talking about Submitting yourself as a woman to a man, you got to have the right energy. Now, let me just share a few things because we're coming back. We're going to be here for eight o'clock tonight. And I want you to, to make certain that you're here. You got to watch the energy of, of dudes today. Now, listen very carefully. Don't check out on me right now. I need you to hear what I'm saying to you, especially you women. Listen to what I'm saying. You got to be very careful with the energy of these dudes today. This is, this is one thing you have to understand. Number one, a woman is built, you are emotionally built to be sensitive to the opinions of men, especially if those men are in a position that you esteem them, fathers, leaders, pastors, teachers, counselors, so forth and so on. So if you, if you esteem a man and you view him to be a man of distinction, a man of importance, uh, you know, whatever, 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 his words, his words will have a tremendous impact on your life. So if he uses his words in a negative way towards you, you may say, oh, I'm, I, it doesn't bother me. But the reality is you struggle with that verbal assault in your spirit for a long time. Some women never get over conversations they've had with certain men and the way those men talk, with, talk to them. Listen to what I'm saying. You have to check for energy when you're dealing with men because there's a generation of men, I, I, it hurts my heart to report it, that literally hates women. There's a generation of men that hates women and they, they will do any and everything they possibly can to break the woman down. And if you don't check for the energy, if you're just looking at the package and you're looking at the swag and you open your heart to this, you are going to open your heart. You are going to open your heart and your life to emotional abuse like you have never experienced before in your life. So you have to really begin to pray for the Holy Spirit to give you discernment. 
especially relative to dudes. Before you open your heart, before you open your ears, before you allow a man to have a place in your in your emotions, in your soul, whenever you hear me talk about soul ties, it just simply means that a person has a hook in your emotions and you can't seem to shake it. One of the ways a man creates a very toxic soul tie to a woman is he uses abusive language. He demeans her and he breaks her. And his language puts a hook in her soul that she can't seem to shake. You got to check for the energy. You got to check for the energy. You look at a dude and you say, mm -mm. Holy Spirit said, no, 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 no. That's just good rapping there. And there's no content. Don't ignore that. Don't ignore that. See, you waiting for... You're waiting for somebody like me, a preacher, to come and tell you, thus saith the Lord. Be the Lord, ain't no preacher gonna be with you 24-7. This is this is COVID-19 out here. You ain't you ain't around no preachers now. <clears throat> you you have to learn to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit for yourself. And when the Holy Spirit says, This energy is bad, you gotta keep it moving. You got to keep it moving. And I need you all to really pay attention to what I'm saying to you. And please do not take this lightly because I'm seeing more than a few. How do you think, how do you think, how do you think a woman with good common sense gets caught up in the streets and sells her body to bring her money to a so-called pimp? What happens there? She ignored the energy. She listened to the words and she she looked at all of the, the you know, the, the flash and all of this stuff. And this dude created a soul tie <clears throat> of manipulation that now he can manage her life to such a degree that she will jeopardize herself, sell her body, bring all of the proceeds to him. And this is happening on a daily basis. So I wanted to share this with you because it's something you have to look for. Stop, you know, stop running behind <clears throat> how tall he is, how much money he makes, what he drive, what he wear, what kind of cologne he, he's wearing and start checking for, okay, start checking for his energy. I got to go. I have an appointment I got to get to. Start checking for his energy. If a man's energy is not right, you shut it down. If, if he doesn't make you feel secure, shut it down. You don't need nothing else. If you don't feel safe and secure and at rest, shut it down. It may look good, shut it down. 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 And I mean, shut it down. Shut it down. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Shut it down. Now, I have, I have three grown daughters, one grown son. I can't make none of them do anything. They grown now. They do whatever they want to do. I try to talk to them like I talk to y'all. Most of the time, they don't listen to me. I pray that you will hear me. Shut it down. If the energy is bad, mm-mm. Shut it down. I got to go. I'm going to get my hair cut. I love y'all. I love y'all. I just wanted to share that with you real quickly. Thank you all for sowing into my life. I appreciate you more than I can tell you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Don't forget tonight, 8 p.m., we're talking about the hobosexual. You may be dealing. You may be dealing with a hobosexual. <laughs> Hope you're not, but you may be dealing with a hobosexual. I love y'all. God bless you. I'll see you a little later now. Bye-bye.